We don't know what we're talking about yet, but we know we're really hungry. God, these look so good! Hi guys, I'm Ulysses! Hey, this is Ernesto. And this is our channel. Welcome to our channel. Okay, so... Hopefully you're um, watching this video because you just saw our last video of us making these quiches. And by us, I mean me, of making these quiches. And if you haven't seen that video yet, here it is, right up here. Boop, boop. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> Somewhere. Um, so watch that video too. Um, but since we did a making of the quiches video, we decided to do something different, something crazy. Something a little different, something a little crazy. And do our very first mukbang. Mukbang? Mukbang. Mukbang. I don't, I don't know. Um, uh, involving these quiches. Yeah. And we're just going to sit down. We're going to talk to you guys about, you know, whatever comes to mind. Some quiches came up better than others. <laughs> It was supposed to be four different kinds of quiches, but you really just ended up throwing random ingredients into everything. So they're mystery quiches. But we're so hungry. Yeah, it's so hungry. It's like, what time is it? Like one o'clock? It's one o'clock, we haven't eaten anything. Uh, we're gonna see how many quiches we can actually get through. <laughs> yeah, so what is a mukbang? A mukbang is like a fetish. It's like a, um, I think it's like a fetish thing. It's like a small Asian girl typically eating a bunch of food and that's like like somebody's kink. So if we're not small Asian girls, can we still do it? We can still do a mukbang. Um, and we're just gonna chat. So it's sexual. Yeah. Yeah, it's super sexual. So we gotta make this sexual. Uh, we're really we're so hungry. hungry. <laughs> 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 um, we're just going to tell you guys a little bit about the past couple weeks. Yuli just um, celebrated his 29th birthday. Don't tell him my age! Oh my god! Uh, his 19th birthday. Thank you. And what did you think of your overall birthday? Can we start eating now? <laughs> yeah, I think we can start eating. Okay. Um, we'll see if this video plays out. It might be just such a boring video for everyone to see. Don't say that. Don't put out that negative energy. Sorry. I'm not going to be negative today. Okay, let's go back. Wait, one, two, wait, one. <laughs> we haven't eaten anything. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. You need salt. You miss salt. This one oh is bomb.com, you guys. Mmm. Mm -hmm. This one has. The one in this house. Mmm. This one has chorizo and cheese. They all have cheese. Chorizo. Is this chorizo or bacon? Chorizo. And I think some peppers and some green onions. I don't know. Yeah, mine mine is mushroom, mm. bacon, and oh, chives. Wow. I'm so hungry. And it's so good. Uh-huh. Oh my god, I'm so hungry. I have like no thoughts right now. I'm just really enjoying this food. Okay. Mmm. So. Amazing. I just think we're really hungry. Um, no, we need to be more entertaining. I know. So what we did for Yuli's birthday, you guys, is... I wanted to keep it light. I wanted to keep it small. I thought I was talking, but go ahead. No, you go. No, you go. I mean, in the conversation, we can both talk to the camera at the same time. Just go on meeting. Okay, you guys. So, for my birthday, I wanted to keep it light and small this year because I usually do something like super extravagant every year, and I'm like, you know what? This year, getting a little older, let's reel it in a little bit. 19 is so old. What did we do on Friday? The Friday before your birthday, we didn't do anything, we stayed home. We didn't do anything? We did nothing. But the Saturday, it was gone. we ended up going to this place in Echo Park called Masa of Echo Park, which um, is known for their Chicago-style Chicago pizza. Is that a Chicago accent? It was okay. <laughs> I'm gonna try a chorizo now. 
Um, and so they're known for their Chicago style pizza. And the thing is, is that you have to order the pizza like an hour. No. I'm so hungry. 15 minutes, like 15 minutes because it's steep dish. It takes a long time. They recommend that you order the pizza ahead of time. Um, and we decided to go there. It takes an hour to make the pizza. <laughs> Interruption two. Um, and we decided to go there because deep dish pizza isn't really something that's, um, mm. normal for LA, but we, but this place is really good. We've been there. You really don't want to date there before. Mm -hmm. So we decided to invite all of our friends. Mm -hmm. And it was so good. We had a couple pizzas. We had some wine. Mm -hmm. Super cheap. In like for it being like eight people, it was relatively inexpensive, and it was a really good, really good dinner. Yeah. And then, yeah, for all the people that came, Liza, David, Shane Dawson, Shane Dawson, it was really inexpensive. James Charles. You know, like usually they splurge on stuff, but they, you know, we wanted to like. Real it in. Lately, they haven't been getting as many views as usual, so mm -hmm. you know. Exactly. So, um, we went there for dinner, and then we went to the Rockwell to see the unauthorized, um, unauthorized parody of uh, Bridesmaids. And so it was a musical, and uh, that was really, they always do like different kinds of musical parodies there. So we've seen the Devil Wars Prada there, we've seen um, Hocus Pocus parody there, and now Bridesmaids there, and they're so fun. Everyone there is so talented. They're such great singers. Um, so we went there, had drinks, and saw that. Um, chorizo are definitely the best ones. Just the chorizo has like a lot of flavor. Yeah. I'm just trying to make this as sexual as possible. Um. So then after the Rockwell, we went to this place called the Dress Den, which mm. is um, kind of this old school vibe. Is it a One second. Argos hates the mailman. Argos! He's such a basic bitch. <laughs> But yeah, we went to this, which is the cutest place. It's called the Dresden, and it has, for as long as it's been open, or for like a really long time, it's this older couple who sing and play the piano, and they're this kind of duo, and sometimes they have more band members, but it's this older couple, probably in their 70s? Mm -hmm. 70s, maybe? And it's the cutest thing. It's like this little jazz club. We went there. We're like the LA staple. Yeah, I booked a room for Yuli, like a private room. No. No, well, I'll tell you what the cool thing is. When I'm done chewing. One second now. I was so hungry. The cool thing is, is that we got there and they were like, wait, are you those TV people from YouTube? And we were like, yeah, we are those TV people from YouTube. And he's like, oh, your room's to the right. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. So that was really cool to be recognized um, and to have a private room. Have you ever been in some of I didn't, no. Mm. No, but like, yeah, it was just really fun. I left my denim jacket there. We need to call them. They probably have it in the Lost and Found room, yeah. so. Um, and then after that, we went out. It was a long day. A select group of us, so just like the VIP. So just like Liza and David. Just Liza and David. No, Liza and Shane. Oh, and Shane was there too. Yeah, right. Um, went to West Hollywood, and we went to a couple bars, mm -hmm. and got wasted. Mm -hmm. We got really drunk. Did we Only fight? for my birthday. We fought. We fought? I remember. I got it out of a moving vehicle. That was the same day, right? Oh, yeah! <laughs> so, fight number 3,622. <laughs> um, 
Ernesto jumped out of an Uber. I feel like these have mushrooms. That looks like a mushroom. That that's like not a mushroom. a mushroom. That's not a mushroom. I literally put it in two. It's not. It's a piece of burnt bacon, if you want to know. Okay. <laughs> Ernesto jumped out of a moving vehicle. Literally an Uber that was driving. It was like the scene from Lady Bird. Expect everybody to do everything. It was like 2 a.m. and all the bars had closed. And I was really, really tired. But like Liza, David, and Shane were like, let's go out, let's stay out, let's stay out. Like, let's go back to my place and like, like have drinks at my place. And I was like, I'm just so tired. And so I was trying to signal Ernesto that like we should just go home and not go back to Liza's mansion. And he was like so drunk that he was just kind of like down for the cause, right? Like down for whatever. But I wasn't, and so I was like, oh, I was like giving Ernesto these looks, right? Like these like telepathic, like looks to signal to him, let's go home. That usually would work, but when you're like, and he wasn't getting the message. 10 drinks in, you, I just kept getting self-conscious that Yuli was judging me for being very drunk. Mm -hmm. I felt like he thought I was ruining his birthday. You know, and I'd worked so hard to make it such a good day for you that I just was like, Okay. Now I've ruined it. Okay. How many have you had? This is my fourth. <laughs> we gonna get through them all. <laughs> Anyways, so, um, mm -hmm. and so in the Uber, we're heading uh, to Liza's place and in the Uber, I go, oh, you guys, I feel like, you know, I would love to go over Liza Koshi, but, you know, Ernesto is a little too drunk. And because I was trying to go home and he was starting to feel self-conscious that I thought he was too drunk, he literally jumps out of the Uber. Expect everybody to do everything. And so I'm like, oh my God. And so then I have to jump out of the Uber too. Expect everybody to do everything. And I'm following him and I was like, why are you so upset? And he was so upset because of what I was saying because he thought I was judging him, but I was just trying to go home. Anyways, yeah, that's, now in retrospect, it sounds kind of ridiculous. But then Ernesto apologized the next day, so. Oh yeah, and then our friend Liza tried to make like a huge deal out of it. She like came over to talk to us about mm -hmm. what would happen. Mm -hmm. um, and we're like, we're fine. We're a couple. We fight. We make up. It's mm -hmm. what we do. Yeah. Are we the only couple that fights? You think? No. But yeah, I don't know if I can have any more. Are we? Are we failing as a mukbang? No, you have to force yourself to eat. That's the whole point, right? Oh. You can't have any more. I can have more. <laughs> it's so much food. Well, if you're done, you're done. Don't worry about to eat. All right. Well, thank you guys. This was our mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. I'm not it. I'm still eating. Thank you guys. This was our mukbang, mukbang, mukbang. However you say it. Yuli clearly eats more than I do. He's got a lot more muscles, though. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. My hair. Are you gonna see like and subscribe? Please like, please subscribe, and comment down below if you guys want to make us. Please like, please subscribe, and comment down below if you guys want to watch us make any more food or. Was it a complete waste of your eat time? More food. <laughs> this is mine. Actually, this could have been a good recipe for them. You don't know. That would have been in our other video, not this one. You should watch it. Alright, see you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. You know I could have one more. <laughs>